Indian Naval Ship Salyu will be administered by the Commander in Chief, Admiral and Nicobar Command. Commander Amanpreet Singh reading the commissioning warrant for the INS Saryu. The commissioning pennant of India's first completely indigenously built offshore patrol vessel is broken and with the hoisting of its colours by the Nishan Toli or Colours Guard, the ship is inducted into the Indian Navy. The 105 metre long, 2,200 tonne INS Saryu will house eight officers and over 100 sailors and with an endurance of 6,000 nautical miles can operate on extended missions up to 60 days. It's a state-of-the-art uh, indigenous designed ship and uh, for a patrol vessel it has got uh, very good capabilities in terms of uh, high speeds and uh, in terms of uh, weapons and sensors. The INS Saryu has been a labour of love for the Goa Shipyard Limited and as its CMD tells us, there are three more naval offshore patrol vessels being built here and they will be delivered in quick succession every six months. As far as um, warships are concerned, we will be delivering including INS Saryu, 11 offshore patrol vessels to the Indian Navy and to the Indian Coast Guard over the next five and a half years, uh, which will be the largest number of offshore patrol vessels delivered by any shipyard since independence to the Indian Navy and to the Indian Coast Guard in, shutter, in such a short uh, pace of time. Armed with a 76mm SRGM as its main artillery and two 30mm AK-630 close-in guns, the Saryu has adequate teeth for its deployments in blue water surveillance, anti-piracy patrols, escorting of high-value ships and monitoring of sea lanes of communications. With an eye on Chinese aggressive manoeuvres in the South China Sea, India will base the INS Saryu in the Andaman and Nicobar Command. The INS Saryu is India's first indigenously built OPV and will perform multiple roles primary amongst them being maritime surveillance. With camera person Anil Kumar at the Goa shipyard in Goa, this is Nandita Dagar for DD News.